Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Village Craft here on Minecraft. We are back in the village once again. So we uh, got loads of stuff to do today, loads and loads of little things to write down. I was meant to do this last episode, but we spent the whole episode getting ourselves some decent gear together. Apart from the helmet, which uh, we're going to do starting off today. But we got depth strider, feather falling, unbreaking, protection on the boots, prot and unbreaking on the uh, chest plate and the... Um, pants and uh, yeah I haven't actually tested depth strider out yet I've never had depth strider so well let's just see how good it is wow it's just like running in water into it it's just like running normally in water that's really good I've never used uh, believe it or not I've never ever had depth strider yet why wow, you can cross things a lot better yeah this is good this is good imagine a potion of swiftness with depth strider that would uh, that would be pretty good through the water. But uh, happy about that means uh, getting through caves and mine shafts and all that will be a lot easier as well. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we want to go get start off with the diamond helmet. We need to get uh, a level 30 enchant at least on that. If not, we'll just be doing, uh, we've got one, two, and three books. So, if we can find another one, we can combine them with a two to make three. And uh, two threes will make a four. So, that is the plan. So we'll start off with that, but like I said, loads of other things planned. Just a bit of, um, just a bit of, um, what's the word? Uh, yard work, we'll call it. But just a bit of yard work to do today. Get a load of um, little tiny jobs done, and then next episode we'll be starting off with the potions room over there and the uh, villager conversion unit there. On the next things planned, I also need to get an enchanting room set up, a proper one. Um, which is this is just a temporary one, obviously for now. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get. Um, a level 30 enchant of just protection on my helmet don't think we can, I think it says aqua affinity yes it does, right, so what we'll do is we'll just get a level 1 down for now so we'll break this take it over here and hopefully get a level 1 enchantment down and it's only giving us level 2 thank you well What's the two levels? Protection one, there you go. So we need to do it anyway. So uh, let's get protection one. And uh, that's worked out pretty well. It's probably not the best because we wanted to uh, obviously get it on a uh, on the helmet itself. But it does mean that now we can go and uh, sort our stuff out. Luckily I got up to, back up to 30 levels in the last... Uh, we're in between last episode and this episode. So what else do I want to throw in there? The books. Right. So we can put the enchantment table back now. And. Uh, uh, does it go there? I think it goes there, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. I always put it in the wrong place. Okay. So that is it. This is nearly the last part of our, uh, our armour together now. And uh, pretty happy about that, really. We... Uh, got unbreaking protection on everything nearly now uh, that's a point I do need to go and pick up unbreaking for the helmet I think that's 23 emeralds uh, if I remember correctly for unbreaking so while we're here we'll go ahead and uh, go see the money maker now and get some emeralds out of our chest so we need 23 13 more I'll just shift uh, just click them all into there like that right off we go and uh, yeah, after this we'll have a full set of uh, armour, hopefully. So what do we need to put on the... We need to put on the um, helmet. We need protection on breaking, respiration and aqua affinity. So uh, I've definitely got aqua affinity book, definitely. And I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of protection three books. Uh, sorry, re respiration three books. Now I think respiration three is the highest it does go to. So, that will be handy. What am I coming over here for? Um, I'll tell you what I didn't do though. I didn't go and get the unbreaking book. Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Right, so let's go get that from the uh, unbreaking guru. We'll just go, oh no, I was going to go through Mike's, but uh, mess that one up. Um, right, so he's just over here, I believe. The unbreaking guru. So handy to have a bit of organisation, save sifting through all the villagers and trying to find them, which is really annoying. Uh, what are you doing in here? Was you making a purchase? Hope you've left enough for me. I'm breaking three, 23 levels, and oh my. 
I've just gone and put the bloody books away, and I. Wow, wow, wow. Well, it's night time coming up anyway, so while I'm over here, I'll wait for that and uh, sleep. Um, yes, just here. Right. Is that Big Bruce? No, it's not. Right. Let's get ourselves a book out. Just one, and then wait for night time. Yeah, not night time yet. Oh, we'll just chill for a little bit then. See what's going on over here in the hood. Um, yeah, I'm just having a quick look around, see if there's anything I can do while I'm here. I'm pretty sure everything's pretty satisfactory over here. Um, but, 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 yeah, I like this rope. It's all complete pretty much, and uh, there's nothing really to do. So, should be able to sleep now. They're running inside. Yep, there we go. Okay, right, so let's go get the book enchanted and then we can start with our battle gear and then do a bit of a bit of yard work. So here we go. This guy, wow, do you mind? Look, you've already been in once. Don't you dare, there we go. Right, okay, so one book, 23 emeralds. On breaking three, lovely. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you as always, Mr. Unbreaking Guru. Right, off we go. So let's go finish the last piece of our armor puzzle. So handy having villagers. This is what I was on about with um, not having to waste diamonds for enchantments and things like that. Especially when we uh, finally get some uh, armorers who offer things other than chest plates, because then we can just get emeralds and. Uh, just keep combining enchanted diamond gear to get normal diamond gear and then we can uh, tailor make it to what we want because that's essentially what we're doing here we're just tailor making things right so protection one protection one to make protection two protection two and two to make three and three and three to make four there we go now four on the helmet and then unbreaking three on the helmet Ah, oh, I ain't got enough levels. Wow, that cost a lot more levels than I thought it was going to. Right, don't matter. We can go get levels at another point. So, uh, I normally get levels by just breeding prigs and uh, things like that. Right, so today, a couple of jobs to do. So, the first one is, uh, at the end of uh, start of last episode, I made these guys. Well, that one guy. He obviously survived. He didn't. I believe that is because the rain was pouring down on them and um, they need shelter basically so what we're going to do is go ahead and make them a little shelter so uh, hopefully I've got some cobble slabs have I got any cobble slabs no I haven't so uh, we just need three I believe to make a slabs I could do with more than that though we may as well make more why not um, but obviously because they need to the point of them being there is so they can shoot out at zombies and that we need to make sure that we don't cover them up totally so they can still do the jobs so there's 18 slabs, that's handy enough. We've got one pumpkin there. So we can go ahead and put the helmet back on now. I've got Prop 4 on it. Um, right, so let's go ahead and activate him again. Hello, sorry about uh, your demise, but you're back now. So that should pretty much just protect him, but also allow him to do his thing. That does look ugly though doesn't it that looks really ugly well it's only a 4x4 four four, so all I've got to make is 4x4 four four. sorry 2x2 two two to make 4 yeah that's all he needs it does look ghastly though doesn't it oh why do you have to be well to be fair does it even need that It's only walking round in one by one though, isn't it, technically? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Right. So technically, all it should need is that. I know it doesn't look amazing, but if it allows them to... Uh, yeah, if it allows them to survive... Then that's done. So technically, we're all right there. 
So uh, let me check my list here of stuff that I want to do. So uh, that's that one done. Okay, so next thing, we are off to Mike's Music Discs because we haven't got, well, we've got a music shop, but we haven't got a music disc player. So I believe to make a music disc player, if I can remember, it's been years since I uh, ever made one, I believe it's just a diamond wrapped in wood. So uh, that should give us enough there. And then, yeah, at that point, we can go and play some music. So, there we go. Jukebox, there we go. So I did remember. Okay, so let's go put the jukebox uh, over at Mike's. Ah, that, I remembered. I cooked some food. That will give me some good XP, actually. It should get me two levels, maybe three. Oh, three levels. Right, well, let's put that back and... Uh, We'll see if we can do that again as well, because if we can get some good levels together, then we might be able to get that uh, unbreaking on our helmet. So, what do I want? I can get them, I can cook them, and technically I can cook the chickens as well. We'll see. I don't want to cook too much chicken though, but there's some raw mutton. There's some raw pork chop and we'll cook a bit of chicken I like to keep raw chicken though because it's good for trading but anyway got some XP from that um, and also yeah we'll do that afterwards we can breed them pigs up there and we can breed the cows up and that'll get us some more XP so let's enter Mike's is Mike still here yes he is hi Mike how are you doing son how's business Right, where should we put the jukebox? Should we just stick it down there? I know it doesn't look amazing there, but uh, could probably put that there. And then uh, go get a flower pot or something to put on there. In fact, we'll go to Janice's after that, and uh, yeah, we'll see. So, um, that hasn't got a sign on it. I believe that's more that disc. But I also remembered, I don't like the fact that you can't put them two together there. And that just looks gash. So the only thing I can think to do is I'm going to take that sign down and use that for mall. So how does that go? Just up there. I believe that's mall. And then but let's put mall on while we're here. You could probably hear that. I definitely can't because I've turned my uh, headphones right down. But um what will it be on there? Music and sounds. Music's at 100%. Yeah, you guys should be able to hear that. But uh, luckily for me, I can't. So, the only thing I can think of doing here is put in... Uh, so what's that? That's stall and that's 11. So the only thing I can think of here is put in... Stall. And then doing that. And then 11. Now should I do... Should I just do it like... Um, like that? Or should I do it like... I know this isn't perfect, but I really did mess up on the design of it. And I really cannot be bothered to, uh, to change it all. So let's see if we can just go... 4... One, two, three, four. No. Five. Yeah, see, that's the only way I can think of doing it. Now, that looks better. So, it's just telling us there. That should be a solid line, though, and it's not. Oh, God. It don't matter. It's telling us stall's there and 11's there. So, that's right, in it? 11, stall, yeah. Okay. Well, that's another thing off the list. There we go. Thank you. That was lovely. Not that I could hear it. So, we've gone and done the music display, uh, the jukebox. Um, made a sign for more. Snowman guards are done. Um, okay, so this one involves you guys now. I uh, would like you to come up for a name of this guy here. So, for those of you who don't know, this is the jacket potato stand where we can get some baked potatoes. So, this guy here needs a name. And uh, you can call him whatever you want, put what uh, you want in the comments. And um, 
I'll pick my favourite and name him that one. So I'm going to try and make this interactive as I can for you guys so you can get involved and uh, do some funny things as well. So name that guy and also the two guards. If you want to name the two guards, you can name them anything you want. It's something funny will probably be the winner um, or just something good or something that's fitting. So uh, obviously I named Mike um, just for the hell of it because it was just Mike's music disc. It was easy. It's probably not the best thing in the world. I named Janice as well just because, uh, I don't know, I just thought that name was uh, pretty random. For, and it sounds like a flower shop woman, doesn't it, Janice? So uh, I just thought that was quite funny. But you can name them whatever you want. Call them guards Ant and Deck if you want. Call, I don't know, call this woman Shirley. Do whatever you want or come up with something clever. Um, things like that. Um, so that's that one done. So I can't name my god bow today because I need 32 levels for that. Uh, but I already mentioned in the last one what um, what I wanted not what I wanted, what um, what I was going to call that. Right, next job, like I said, this will just be a little bit of a houseworky kind of episode. So these armour stands, for some reason, have sunk all of them but the iron one. And I haven't got a clue why, but I'm going to repair them today. Now this best be silk touch, yes it is. I think I just checked that a minute ago, but I wasn't concentrating very much. So I've got no idea at all. Now that must be why, because I half slabbed it. That's got to be the reason for it. Right, so what I'm going to do, and let me just check actually. I bet you that is a reason for it, because I bet you for some reason this one is still sat. That one's half slabbed, that one's not, or something like that, I don't know. Yep, yeah, there you go. So that is the reason for it. So let's go get some stone. And it's coming up to night time as well, so we'll sleep while we're over here. Let's go get some stone and make some... Um, normal make some more half slabs because I do like them half slabs there but obviously you can't put anything else underneath them and I need to double them up so we'll go ahead and do that now um, we'll grab some stone while we're here in a little stone store that'll be plenty more than enough um, we'll go and crafting table here in all of these I think can I reach it from here no and this guy's going to be an absolute Div and not let me through and as soon as I open that gate I'm going to leave him for now we'll go ahead and sleep there's another crafting table over there anyway so we'll go and um, we'll go and do that so let's get our head down for the night grab a drink while I'm here beautiful right let's go shut that so oh another thing while we're on naming there's obviously Big Bruce. We've got a load of Iron Golems now. I'm going to try and name every single one of them. So uh, again, guys, think of some good names and uh, we'll, we'll come up with them. It's definitely a fun thing to do. Just go around and name as much as many things as we can. I think it'll be quite funny. So uh, don't be afraid if you want to uh, name something. Why is every librarian shut? Not shut. <laughs> what am I on about? Why has every librarian got someone in there that's ready to just dart out or dart in? It's pretty annoying. Right, that's my own breaking. I need to keep that. So I'm going to need about six here. I should, I'll should. i just grab... No, we'll, we'll get six. Don't need any more, really. And finally, we can get our armor stand sorted because this has been like this for a while and I've just never got around to doing it. Which is pretty annoying. Right. So, I will obviously just need to put that there. Do I just break these? Yep, yeah, just like that. Right. So that one's there. One, two, three. Let's just get the armor stamp back. And then we can go ahead and gear our thing up again. So, helmet, booties, chest plate. Leggings and then destroy that, uh, put that there, and then uh, uh, number three, four. Beautiful. So we are back to normal on that front there. So we'll go ahead and stick that back down there, stick that back down there. And we are back to how we was, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the diamond one then while we're here. 
I honestly didn't know that armor stands sunk through half slabs but there you go oh, I could have done with that armor in the last one right no that's not where it wants to go just there and then we could switch that out put the stand down and then get all four there I don't even have to look at it do I obviously it'll just do it by itself right wood down um, step down glass back there we go just one more to do um, no what am I doing there we go um, I want the half slab first don't I yes right there there and we are done lovely so that's not going to happen again hopefully where's the rest of the glass uh, of course I broke the glass without using silk touch didn't I what an idiot so I need four pieces of glass but apart from that we're pretty much sorted on that front as well uh, let me check my list while I'm here see what else needs doing well there's a lot to do I don't know what to do next um, right okay well we'll just try and sift through a few of them I don't want to make this too long but I'm glad we're finally getting a few things off the list and again if I just keep making a list I can uh, I can just keep coming back to it and doing one or two jobs in between things but I don't want to make a whole episode of just random jobs um, well these look like they're all nearly done as well that'll give us some good XP um, right what am I after four pieces of glass and then finally next episode we can get on to uh, a bit more building going to uh, start with the potions room and the villager conversion units that should be pretty good and we can finally just drag in random uh, zombie villagers and uh, convert them and things like that loads of things to do in the future though I need to get a gold farm on the go as well because I'm not sure how many villagers I'll be able to convert if I've not got much gold but at least these are sorted now lovely right I'm gonna do a quick breeding session as well to try and get some levels I want to get enough levels to get uh, unbreaking on my helmet um, and yeah apart from that I can't really think of anything else to uh, to do oh I can actually I want to get some horses today I just want to go out and get some horses I'm not gonna do anything with them quite yet I'm gonna get a little stable yard set up and things like that but I had a horse and it got um, it got done I can't remember where it went or how it went but it died somehow and it wasn't me that killed it but as you can see we've got saddles and horse armour for days here from all the uh, chests that we've been farming and things like that in the dungeons right so next job was to do what it was to get levels get levels so we're going to take them carrots there we're going to breed the pigs a little bit and uh, then we're going to go breed the cows and then we'll go out and get some horses and that should be good for another episode if we can't get enough levels to put on breaking on our helmet that should be more than enough for them pigs oh yeah 23 I don't think I'll use them I don't think there's 23 pigs there but you never know right get him come on then guys happy time happy time well wow, a lot of them don't even seem interested that's going to get us up to 14 nearly we've still got them uh, still got them uh, food in the furnaces to take as well anyone else want any? come on two more there's got to be two more here oh one more come on one more guy there we go well that got us up to 14 the cow should get us a lot further than that God, that does look bad just cobblestone half slabs but uh, what can you do 
what can you do right this should definitely get us nearly a level and uh, also while I'm here I don't want this chest to fill up too much so we're going to take all of that there and we're actually going to make them into hay bales because it's easier storage for now we need to hurry up and get this traded but we need hay bales anyway for when we uh, make our well for when we get our horses as well we can get a little chest room going there as well so all that for one stack of hay it definitely saves a uh, saves a lot of storage there we go two stacks of hay bales that saves a lot of room and we'll drop that down there and we'll just stick them in this corner here um, everything else can in fact this will be a quick way of doing it just like to line the chest properly so let's get all this down here now that'll get it nice in the chest again save us messing about and we'll keep one stack for ourselves see half the chest just like that so let's go and feed the cows come on Oh, it's not lagging as badly either. I did do a bit of culling in the last episode. Um, last time I bred them, actually, I did uh, take a lot of them down. How many levels was it for that helmet? Was it 18? It might have been 18. I hope it was 18, because we could nearly do it here. Well, no, I think we could. With all that food in the uh, furnaces as well, we could definitely nearly do it here. It's just a case of catching all the cows. But I think there's only 26... Yeah, 24, got two more there, oh, another one, just waiting for them all to sift through and just finding the sweet spot where there's loads at the back that are still to see, there we go, it's going down now, come on, we can get a stack out of this easy, four, three, two, one, and there is level 18, now I think it was level 18 to, uh, to get unbreaking on our helmet, so uh, let's see, and then hopefully, all we've got to do then is uh, Respiration Aqua Affinity, which is going to cost us a lot of levels, I think. But who who knows, who knows? So there's Unbreaking, 18 levels, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. Lovely. So, quickly, I'm going to have a look. Is Respiration 3 the highest you can get? I hope it is. Respiration 3 is the highest you can get. Yes, it is. Got it up here, ready. So, uh Feather falling, aqua affinity, we're going to need that. But I want respiration more than anything. Where is it? I'm sure we've got one in here somewhere. Maybe not. We might have to go get the. We've definitely got a respiration 3 villager. Well, have I not got respiration? I haven't, have I? Well, that's something we can do in the next episode. Um, but for now, I want to make sure. How much this will cost to get aqua affinity on this 33 oh god that's a lot of levels for something that i'm not too bothered about yeah you can't do it like that well it don't matter we'll be going for respiration anyway but uh, yeah it's night time anyway i'm gonna go use this opportunity to go get some levels and um kill a load of things so uh Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll be starting our um, villager conversion unit and also a potions room if we get time. But uh, for now, thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.